Welcome to PE Plet, an epic four-day mountain bike stage race held between Port Elizabeth and Plettenberg Bay. Our new sponsors, Fed Group, our new dates, March, catering for those epic riders, is going to create an awesome four-day adventure. Woodridge School is our home for the start of the fifth staging of PE Plet. Registration was a real casual affair, with the event attracting both solo and team riders. Some tasting goes a long way to settle those pre-race nerves. We're both former pros, so this is a comeback race for the two of us. We haven't raced for a long time together, so there's a little bit of um, testing who's the stronger rider, so he doesn't want to tell me much. So I'll have to learn for myself and take each stage as it comes, eh? Stage for stage. Yeah, it's my first P to Plet ever. I've done a lot of races in South Africa already and this is one of the races I've never done before, so I'm very excited. It's very nice to have something new and to have a change and I'm looking forward to the four days of racing with uh, Matt Pierce. We got an invite from P to Plet and I think it was a, they've moved it now to the beginning of the year. It's great timing before the Cape Epic as well, so that's that was our main reason for it's just a great preparation race. No, we've ridden together quite a lot, we train together, so um, yeah, we're just looking forward to it. We we had to have a, a good time at a good event, and um, I'm sure the, the race will live up to expectations. It's a cool start to the Fed Group PE Plet 2017. The tough one have 80 k's to do, lights just over 60. The tough one heading to the Van Staden Scourge. A big climb out to King of the Mountain, wonderful, wonderful sea views, lots of game, in for an epic finish into Zeerbrunn, some 60 kilometers later. The race started at 8am in the morning, meant we could attract over 900 school kids to send the riders on their merry way. Woodridge School has a long history of mountain biking and gives us great access to some of the finest single track networks in the country. And the tough one of 80 k's to go, head straight down into the Van Staden Scourge, up into a game farm, lots of giraffe, lots of wildlife. The money will be either on Connie Lusa or Matt Beers to take line honours at the summit. <music> Gary from African Pride is one of our riders that have done all five P plets. This category is known as a hippo, the hippo being unpredictable, just like P plet. Okay. good. <laughs> Matt Beers from Team Ready Rider taking line honours in the first King of the Mountain. Every year on PE Plet, we establish new routes and new rides, and this was the ride in 2013 when the riders tackled the Van Staden's Gorge. This is a beautiful game farm that stretches all the way through into Crossway Single Track. The Patagals own um, crossways and um, they've been cutting this track for the last six years. It's absolutely magnificent and it's combined with another section on J Bay Bike Park and Woodridge called Three Rivers Trails. As Greg mentioned, the light riders had a far easier ride from the start. They tackled the narrow bridge over the Stardens Pass and the tough riders were now heading out of a single track into the first waterhole point at Thornhill. Seems to be got stuck behind. I'm waiting for him. We start together, we finish together. I mean, look at the scenery here. How can you pass that up? I mean, we we are so lucky to have this on our doorstep and very privileged. Yeah, very privileged, and we just wanted to come and appreciate it. In 2013, our inaugural year of P-Plet, we used this as a big downhill into the Gam 2 Ferry Hotel, our first overnight stop. 
It's been cleaned up a lot, but the riders still have a way to go to get to Zeebron in Hanke. Greg Anderson wearing our red cherry colours and another one of our hippo riders done all five years with his partner Catherine um, who's deciding to take the safe route. This narrow gauge railway line bridge over the Gamtus known as the Apple Express was decommissioned many years ago. My, my HCFBO has been killing me but it's been good. Like a US in helping us out here so I think it's about 15, 15 more caves to go to be home. Jason Meaton, one of our top contenders for the solo category. Um, it looks interesting. Uh, I should have swam maybe a bit more, practiced my, my strokes on my swimming, but I should survive, I should get there. We don't always want to spoil the riders, so half a bridge across the Gamtus was all they needed. It was all the talk at the race village that night. No, it's been brilliant, hey? I must say. Those first probably 40 k's, absolutely spectacular. We've uh, worked a little bit in the last 10 or so, but it's been really, really good. Girls just want to have fun, and exactly what Charmaine and Brenda from Asusi Trucks are having, fun. With five kilometers to go, Zirubon village awaits. We had to, at this stage, bring in some additional water to the guards. They were really cooking, but the village was awesome and ready and waiting. Jacques Dienkamp, our Zirubon farmer, truly embraces P.E. Plett, and in fact, he takes part and does one or two days of the event each and every year. The village is awesome, and the guards just loved it. One of the most fun routes I've ever been on. We did. I think we did well, and we've got three more days left, and we hope to catch up some time that we lost during the day. Yeah, the trails are really cool, like the yeah. single track and stuff. Super, super impressive. We really had fun, especially in the beginning. But you know, we've never ridden before. In fact, we really just hooked up on the start line. So it was a really interesting mix. I absolutely loved riding with Catherine. She buried herself absolutely inside. It was awesome in the single track. Jill and a physio team from KZN should also get the Hippo Award. They've been there for the last five years. The Chill Zone was a real hit amongst the riders with lots of free refreshments for everyone. The organisers of people had really trying to try to add value wherever they can and having their boxes outside the tents when they arrived was a real treat. Day two from Zirubron all the way to Corredo is definitely our queen stage. At 2,000 metres of climbing, 84 kilometres, this is going to test the guys. Looking forward to today's challenge. I think today is going to be magic. The logistics of a linear stage race starting in A and finishing in B are massive. This whole setup needs to be moved to Corredo within the next four hours. Oh my word. Day two, as I said, the Queen stage. It's a tough day. It's through the Cyrenaeus Mountains, totally different to day one. It's rocky, it's rugged. And if anybody is considering doing the epic, this would be a day to find out if you're capable of it or not. This is also a tough day for the light. Um, there aren't too many deviations, um, but certainly they will find the day a little bit easier. And also knowing that day three is only a 45 kilometer day. The route splits twice on day two. This is the first split with a tough one going right all the way into Nico's farm. It's a section that we had to take out last year because of the rain. And the light will continue straight. This really will work the tough riders up with a massive climb up into Nico's ridge line, running all the way through the Cyrenaeus Mountains. At this specific stage, the top teams were very Connie Lusa, Matt Beers, TRB Insurance with Andrew Hill. Uh, Declan had lost his partner, Max, unfortunately, from Fed Group. Mark Jabeir, the solo rider, and Christopher Volita were all neck and neck going towards the first waterhole at Woodlands. Open ladies we see over here with uh, Team Valencia with Samantha and Amy and Team VSL, Carmen and Michelle, neck and neck. The Valencia girls, however, were really strong and won the stage. Day two sees us going through over 11 farms, all private land, so gates need to be opened. This track of Nico has never ever seen a mountain bike before, so it's great for us. It's brand new, it's virgin, and I think the guys loved it. The riders are about two kilometers away from the Woodlands Waterhole Point. Woodlands have been fantastic from day one. Tennis and Marily have supported us. Incredible milk. The guys just love it. Who could ask for more? This is quite tough, but it's the toughest 26 case I've had so far. I think this water point is awesome, and we're going to go for a kill now. We're uh, three minutes behind our uh, opponents, uh, so we hopefully tonight we'll make it and uh, came first. 
Asmus rider Connie Lisa driving the train. The Fed Group E pledge is attracting a lot of international interest and I think the timing now, two weeks before the Epic has certainly helped. Till from Team Fantastic is one of those guys who is a commentator for the Ironman but just really is finding that the diversity of his four-day mountain bike stage race is really blowing him away. He's a real character. It's gnarly descents there though. Oof. Hard work. It's always pleasant. Th thanks for giving us such nice descents to recover after the um, hard climbs. Eh? Got to talk about that. It's now from waterhole to waterhole and just survival as the teams make their way to Siloko Game Reserve. We're once again Sitsikama Crystal, who've been with us from day one. I'm going to be treating the guys to some goodies and 15 kilometers to Asakai Boss Hotel. Yeah, it's almost better to go up than to go down, which is, just doesn't make sense. This is the final 15 kilometers. It'll sting in the tail as the riders make their way through to Corredo and to the Asakai Boss Hotel, our brand new village for 2017. It's not an easy ride, um, spurs, valleys, jeep track, single track, rocky ascents, rocky descents, but at the end of the day, the new village is awesome and awaits. This has been one of our signature sections uh, for the last five years, and it's our burn section, just feeding into Anarchy's farm. And yep, I really enjoy it. I think it's a great piece. And this is where the lights also join back with a tough one. Kijk nee, ik heb al epic gedaan, maar hier van die stage van dag nee, is is dit is een proper proper stage van dag weer. This is the final climb of the day, and even got enough time to do a little wheelie. This is always the safety blanket of our last riders, and that is having our medics as backup. Some changes for 2017 is also offering hotel accommodation at all our overnight stops, and that's a great feature. Matt Pierce, Connie Lisa, well done, guys. Race time 3:52. Yeah, I suppose it was the Queen stage. Very tough day. Um, I mean, just over four hours. I enjoy the rough, rocky climbs. It's, um, I just, my legs were just nowhere today. So, like, I enjoyed the terrain, but uh, I just wasn't feeling very nice. The rain today was tough, and I think this is a good preparation for the epic. A little bit of an eye opener, I think. <laughs> Yeah, we've had, I mean, I've really enjoyed the first two days I did this race, I think I mentioned two years ago, and I can't remember much, and now I'm experiencing it again, so I think for my side it's been going really well. We're still in second, but we've still got two days, so it's never finished until we all cross the finish line. Good morning! I hope you delayed the start, we're running late. <laughs> Today it wasn't um, ideal, the Germans finished before us, but uh, it's payback time, so today is our day, <laughs> <laughs> and we are just hoping to beat them. <laughs> As we did with day one, we are faced with the king of the mountain on day three. It's a climb out on the tar on the R62 into Corredo, and then we're heading up into the DAF property for some incredible single track, and yes, the Fed Group, king of the mountain. There was no way that Team Rider Red with Connie Lusa was going to allow Matt to win another King of the Mountain. This is what happens. Well done, Connie. Jason and Charles in hot pursuit. This is our second year that we're using the DAF property, and one of the rules are we're not allowed to remove any trees, so it's really, really tight through the single track section. 
and there's a long climb out when the rider's going to see the Indian Ocean for the first time. <laughs> Maybe not. The one great thing about this ride is you're not reliant on GPS. Orange markers the entire route. If you see a green marker, you're going the wrong way. This is the long climb with Matt and Connie all the way up into Cape Pine and MTO Forest. The diversity of the terrain is absolutely incredible. Moving here from over the Sitsukama mountain range into the Cape Pine Forest, you'll suddenly notice from this tough, arid, rocky conditions, we move into beautiful, beautiful groomed forest trails. Samantha and Amy from Team Valencia once again just ruling the roost. Carmen, our second ladies team from Team VSI, not far behind. It's obvious why this is called 50 Shades of Greens, the farmlands of Sitsukama. Andrew Ogden and his newbie wife partner, Kimberly, doing the deed. Gary and Glenn from African Pride having loads of fun. Daniel, our light solar rider, actually winning his category. Good. I've lost my partner. Stopped to pick flowers or something, I don't know. This is what us KZN riders are coming to the Cape for. Fainbos, flowers, proteas, mountains. This is our first split of the day three with the tough going left and the light heading all the way to Sitsukama Falls Adventure Village. Cape Pan MTO have been great partners in PE Plat from day one and the magnificent trails leading all the way through down to the Indian Ocean will blow you away. Rubber hook and the USN waterhole. Wow. We're still in Cape Pan and this will see us migrate from day four into Sand Parks, the Otters Trail. Good morning, guys. What a good ride. Mark, thank you, Bear. Picking with him. Well done, Paul. Previous day. Okay. Guys did a quick, quick. Thanks. I'm part of the weekend warriors, so I came in with nice fresh legs and I just had fun today. All right. It's really amazing out there, and the views are fantastic. The single tracks are also amazing. It's just been incredible. The tracks are amazing. The scenery is amazing. Downhills are amazing. It's a really good day. Our last day of the Fed Group PE Plat, all the way to the most beautiful finish at Nature's Valley. To finish this event, you obviously need a bicycle, and a well-maintained bicycle, that. And without our resident cycle shop, Cycler Pro, this could not be possible. They did an awesome job, and without the rain, it certainly helped. The guys here are really welcoming. Every single village we get to, it's awesome. Uh, get to chill, get to relax. Uh, routes are excellent, excellent, excellent. The single track's sublime, and I think we're in for a good surprise today. Two lucky riders every day get rewarded with a Tony's treat, an incredible tent kitted out with all the mod cons, thanks Tony's appliances. Uh, it was lucky, it was comfortable, um, which I don't think we should say out loudly now. But yeah, I know it was a good night's sleep, eh? Well deserved good night's sleep. Our day three village, Sitakama Falls Adventure, offers some of the best zip lining in the world, and the riders certainly tested it out. Good morning to the fourth day, and uh, the first three have really been testing uh, different terrain. It's been like living in different countries, but from barren wasteland to the beautiful forests of Tsitsikama, now heading to Nature's Valley, just looking forward to the day. Day four, the penultimate day of the Fed Group PE Plat. The riders departing into the Cape Pine Forest all the way through Storms River Pass, the old pass into Storms River Village, then up into Vitaclip, which is the South African National Parks area, absolutely beautiful. Then we go through the beautiful Low Crowns Pass, the old Elephant Migration Trail, and then finally descending down into Nature's Valley from a section called Covey, Pig's Head, on the Otters Trail, a beach crossing, and wow, what a journey into Nature's Valley finish. Lovely, hey? Beautiful. The forest is nice, climb, steady. Mm, love it. With today being um, a lot quicker, a lot of the group are still together, and we have a brand new finish line at Nature's Valley. Previous years have seen us finish on the beaches at Beacon Isle Hotel, and then at Curland, 
But what a better way to finish than a massive descent into Nature's Valley down the Otters Trail. Enjoy. Okay, it was awesome. Yeah. Best riding of the whole of the whole uh, event so far. That was really cool. Three guys working on a bike, massive camaraderie in PE Plat. Farmer Jacques Siemkam, our weekend warrior, looking aggressive. Riding the last two days of PE Plat is what a weekend warrior is all about. My derailleur wheel just snapped. I don't know. I went through a little ditch and uh, yeah, it just came off, so too much power, I guess, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was perfect. Yeah, they was really good working together with Team Garmin. Van is so strong. Um, yeah, it's been good so far. It's too bad. Would it love to bring it together? In the Open Ladies, it's going to be a race down to the wire with Michelle from Team VSR leading out the Valencia girls. It's going to be fast and furious to the finish. If there's one tar pass you want to have on your bucket list, it is the Bo Kranz Pass. It's a pass designed by Thomas Baines and is absolutely incredible. The gradient is not too steep, so the guys can really get going here. Brandon and Shan from Team Fred Group giving it all they got. But once again, Connie and Matt, king of the mountain. Our first light solar rider coming through, Frederick from Germany. Our Kobe access to Nature's Valley, the finish line awaits. Last day, absolutely fantastic. Check the view out there. Magnificent weather, beautiful course, fantastic tables, good marking. You don't need anything else. It's been an unbelievable experience and Ah, oh, we're we really happy to be here. <laughs> it's yeah, it's time. been an absolute pleasure. It's been a fantastic day out yeah. on the bike. Amazing route, stunning scenery, and feeling strong. I think best day of the fall for us. This is Stephen Phillips, our light rider's first ever mountain bike stage race. Sorry, Steve, not the way to do it. But don't worry, he's tough and all good. Some of our riders exiting um, Pig's Head, and now it's just a wonderful beach ride all the way into the finish. Here, Lundy and Ben, um, our first mixed team, great supporters of PE Plat. This new finish line in Nature's Valley was loved by everybody. Normally, we would have rocketed down over the pass and then down through Salt River and to Curlin. That would have been a bridge too far. This works. So this is a real nice prep, actually, just getting the legs going. And I haven't done any racing because of injury. Connie has done quite a few, but this is our first race together this year, actually. So it was really great to now get some confidence from this win. It's always nice to you know, get some, a monkey off your back knowing that you can still ride a bicycle. Glad to see that old Stephen Phillips is none the worse for wear. He's looking strong, he's looking happy, he's got his medal. I think the guys are just blown away. Selfies and hugs and tears and emotions. It's been a very, very special four days and a real journey. The cherry on the top was obviously receiving the great first to send finishes jackets. The guys are really blown away with it. When the opportunity to be involved in a race that's really running through the most gorgeously scenic part of what South Africa's got to offer, we really just grabbed the opportunity and, and after the first four days, uh, we're just so glad that we did. You may wonder why I'm standing here at the base of the most beautiful place in the world. It's called Nature's Valley, Pig's Head behind me on the left, and it's the end of the Otters Trail. It was also the end of the fifth running of the Fed Group PE Plet. 
which was just down the road. It's been an epic four days, starting at Woodridge on day one on Thursday, all the way through to Hankey, over the Cyrenaes Mountains into our new stop at Asakai Bos Hotel, and then Sitsikama Range into Stormage River, most magnificent day. And today, Blow Kranz, Stormage River Pass, and just once again, this epic artist trail. Where to from here for the Fed Group P Plet? It's just going to get bigger and better. The guys are raving about it. It's one of the most diverse mountain bike races in South Africa. It's one you have to be part of for the Fed Group P Plet.